on Channel 3 and streaming on WFSP+. Plus. This is Eyewitness News at 4. First at four, a widespread national outage impacting a number of wireless carriers. Thanks for joining us for the afternoon rush. I'm Kara Sundland. This is mostly happening on AT&T's network. Thousands of customers have been unable to make calls or send text messages. Take a look at the map showing all the reported outages across the nation from AT&T users just in the last 24 hours. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal has been on top of this story all day long. She is live at Weathersfield at the AT&T store now with an update on these restoration efforts. Aya. Hi, Carrie. Yeah, we just got an update from AT&T moments ago, and AT&T is now saying that service has been restored to all of the customers who are affected. At the height of this issue, around 74,000 AT&T customers could not make phone calls, could not send text messages, and could not use the internet. This problem was reported early in the morning with thousands of customers having error messages or no service connection at all. The issue was reported across the country and right here in Connecticut. It. The outage hit mostly AT&T customers, but T-Mobile and Verizon customers also reported some issues. AT&T acknowledged the issue and says it's restored service, but did not give a reason or explanation for the outage. We do know that the FCC is now investigating. A U.S. cyber official has told our news partners at CNN that so far there is no indication that the outage was a cyber attack or other malicious activity. Meanwhile, public safety experts say wireless network outages often occur for mundane reasons like construction related digging or software issues. Now we spoke with people who were affected by the problem and had to turn to Wi-Fi. That's that's a long time to go without right. without right. being Anything. able to get in touch yeah. with people. Yeah. yeah. And yes. then even on Wi-Fi, you don't know like right. if you're actually getting everything like all right. the calls and stuff like that. Yeah. And in a statement, AT&T said, we have restored wireless service to all of our affected customers. We sincerely apologize to them. Keeping our customers connected remains our top priority, and we are taking steps to ensure our customers do not experience this again in the future. Now, Connecticut State Police say there have not been reported interruptions to the state's 911 system, but an issue many police stations ran into today was that a lot of people were calling 911 to see if their phones were working. Uh, police departments are reminding people to only call 911 if there is an emergency coming up on eyewitness news at 5 p.m. We're going to hear from an expert for more analysis on this issue reporting live in Weathersfield Egg and Channel 3 eyewitness news.